Today we're going to be talking about a punch and flange tool. Now this isn't a tool that you're going to use on a daily basis, but it's still a really invaluable piece of equipment to have in your workshop. It's perfectly suited to help repair rusted or damaged panels when a replacement can't be sourced, or when it's more cost effective to repair rather than replace. We're going to be going through how to use this from start to finish. The punch and flange tool has two functions. There's two heads that comes with them, one that flanges or creates the actual dent in the metal, and the other one is the punch that creates the holes ready for MIG welding. As we've said, punch and flange tools are ideally suited for restoration and repair work. For this example, we're going to be filling in the hole from an indicator light. The first step is going to be to sand away all of the top coat and primer. Once the area is cleared away, you're going to want to draw a circle around the area of panel that you're going to remove. We use circles rather than squares because the corners of the squares can be problematic to get a really nice clean profile. To remove the material, we recommend you use an air nibbler. Air nibblers don't tend to distort the metal when cutting. The flange head attachment is actually going to create a profile on the metal and that's what actually dents the metal or bends the metal. Using that flange head attachment, create a clean profile around the circumference of the area that you've actually cut away, overlapping each section by about a quarter of the total head size. If you find the profile isn't clean enough, you can go back and retouch different areas. You want to make sure that you've got a nice clean profile so you can easily get the replacement panel to fit within it. To get a well fitted replacement panel, create a template out of paper. Tape some paper on the panel and trace around the outside of the profile. Once you've cut the template out, go back to the job and check to make sure that you've got a good snug fit. The replacement panel can be sheet metal or even part of an old panel. Place the material on top of the metal you intend to use as the inlay and trace around the outside. Using an air nibbler again, cut out that replacement panel. Check the replacement panel for fit. You can clean up any overhang with a bench grinder. Changing over to the punch head attachment, create a series of holes around the newly created replacement panel allowing about 25 millimeters between holes. Lay the replacement panel in the flange profile and proceed to lightly mid weld each of the holes. When welding, firmly hold the panel in place to keep it nice and flush. The order of welding should be 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock and then filling in the rest of the holes. Clean up the remaining weld residue, in this case we've used a ceramic flap disc. Then all you need to do is fill it, sand it, and prepare it for paint. 